Hello everyone and welcome to Yoga with Living Pretty Green. My name is Rebecca and I will lead you through a little beginner's class but anybody can join because it's always good for everybody. Um, it's like a little happy flow for people who are strong but not flexible enough. So what you need is a blanket, maybe two pillows, two books or two blocks, some water. I also enriched my water with a little bit of uh, essential oil, cacao. Cacao is very antioxidant, which is fantastic. It's a stress reliever. It's a, a for heart health and um, immune support. So we can use that, no problem. I just put a little bit of that in my water and keep some water with you to be hydrated. And then I have some patchouli oil. I mixed it with some oil and you can just rub it on your arms, on your temples, anywhere you want, sniff it. And patchouli helps when you're unclear, also put some on your feet, um, when you have fear, um, when it also increases endurance and it helps when you have headaches. So I think this fits really, really perfect for our session today. Now rub a bit on your feet and the temples again, or you can start with the temples before and one more sniff. Now, place your hands, sit in a comfortable position, number one. If it's not comfortable for you, take the blanket and elevate your hips. Sit on the blanket. If it's still not comfortable because your knees kind of hurt or it look, kind of looks like this, not a problem, it should be comfortable. So just place on both sides the pillow under your knees. Then, Place your hands in front of your heart, set an intention, close your eyes. The intention could be something like, I will live a healthy life. The intention could be, I will rest more. The intention could be, I want to smile more. The intention could be, I can do it. Whatever it may be, it's different for everyone. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in and out. And also sigh out through the mouth. Now open your eyes slowly. Rest your hands on your knees and we start with the little shoulder rolls. So just roll your shoulders up towards the back, down, front, up, back, down. Big circles and breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. One more time, breathe in and out. Now, also really important, sit straight, chest open. Now let's rotate your head to your right. So look over your right shoulder as far as you can. Make sure your shoulders are down and back. And just hold this here for three breaths. And your torso is towards the camera. Two. And one more. Now go slowly back to the middle and to the other side. Breathe in and out. Keep your shoulders down and back. 
in and out. One more time. In and out. Look straight ahead. Now shrug your shoulders up to the ear. It's usually what we don't do in yoga, but now we do. And then just let it go and sigh out through your mouth. And let's do this two more times. And, and one more. Breathe in and sigh out. Now, clasp your hands and roll your wrists in whichever direction. And then we reverse it. Get a little liquid going and you will also later on be on your hands. So it's always good, now turn the other way. It's always good to have your wrists prepared. Now we're preparing for a little seated twist. So what you do is you take your left hand and place it on your knee if you can, or wherever you can reach. You take your right arm up and over behind you. You make yourself really straight and then you turn and look back as far as you can. Now you breathe in again and get tall and breathe out and turn a little more. And you breathe in again and get tall. You have a feeling somebody's pulling you on your head. And when you breathe out, you turn more. Now breathe in and come back to the middle. And let's do the other side. Take your right hand, place it wherever you can reach on your leg or on your knee. Lift your left arm, place it behind yourself. Get tall and turn. Breathe in, get tall. Breathe out, twist more. Breathe in, get tall. Breathe out, twist more. Now breathe in, come back slowly to the middle. And let's remove the blanket. And let's come on all fours, which we call cat and cow. So we start with the cat. Arch back, look up, and now roll yourself in a round back. Look to your belly with your, with your eyes and breathe in again and arch your back. And breathe out and round your back. Breathe in again and arch your back. Breathe out and round your back. Now come to a neutral position and let's go into our first down dog. I'm sure you've heard it before, even if you have never done yoga before. So you stay as you are. Put your toes on the mat. You, you uh, push your buttocks a little back and then lift your legs up into the air. You can either step your whole foot on the floor, but rather keep your knees bent as much as you need. Have your hands really wide and just try to have your chest coming towards your legs. And as if somebody would pull you up like this. And the more you bend your knees, the easier you can open your shoulders. So let's stay here for three breaths. Two. And three. Now slowly come down with your knees, untuck your toes, and come down to child's pose. So your head, your forehead, 
touches the ground, your hand can either be here in the front or if it feels more comfortable for you, you can also place them back here. But I would prefer for today if you have your hands in the front. Now we breathe in and we go back into down dog. Come back on your knees, put weight into your hands, flip your toes, move your buttocks back and up. Down dog. Your head is relaxed. Your hands are firmly on the ground. And you can try to straighten your legs a little bit more, but it shouldn't tweak anywhere. So if it does, keep your legs bent. Now let's come, come back to child's pose, back down on your knees, untuck your toes, come down, child's pose. And let's move it a little faster. Back on your knees, tuck your toes, lift your buttocks up in the air, downward facing dog and let's move back onto our knees untuck your toes and come back to child's pose two breaths here now slowly come back up into down dog again and slowly walk with your feet towards your hands. Have your feet hip width apart and let your torso hang over your legs. Bend your knees and grab opposite elbows and let yourself hang your head loose. Make a little yes and no. Wait side to side, whatever feels comfortable and good for your body. And now slowly roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Let your hands hang down and the head is the last thing to come up. And you're standing straight in Tadasana. Tada! Now, this pose looks really easy. But you can do it wrong and you can do it right. Ground your feet really, really nicely onto the floor. Tilt your hips forward. Roll your shoulders back and your ribs in. And your hands show to the front. Tadasana. Now breathe in. Lift your hands up into the sky, over your head, swan dive, which means go with your straight back down to your feet. Let your torso hang again. Now lift halfway, bend your knees a little, make your back as straight as possible. Your hands could be on the floor, but maybe on your shin or maybe on your thighs. Have your knees bent a little bit. Make sure your back is straight. Engage your core and stand like this for two breaths just to get the feel of it. One more. Now let your body come down again, your hands onto the floor. Step back with your legs into a plank pose, which I'm sure everybody knows. Wrists over, over shoulders. The straight line right here. And make sure that your body is not hanging through like this or not too far up. As straight as possible, rotate your legs a little bit and engage your core and hold it for four breaths. Yeah, a little strength here. I told you, you're strong. Two, three, four. Now, 
Let's do a little, kind of like a push up, but we're going down, but very slowly. So now move your head a little bit front, to the front, kind of like a rocket <laughs> in slow motion. And now rotate your elbows in and slowly, very slowly engage your whole body. Come down to the mat, untuck your toes, push your feet into the ground and lift your, your torso up a little bit. Your hands are next to the ribs. They shouldn't have a lot of pressure on them. The pressure is rather in the feet and it's kind of a little back bend, heart opener, shoulders back and down. Hold it for one more breath, come down, up again, and down again. Now sit with your buttocks, go towards the feet, come back up into downward dog. You know that one now. Now take your right foot and place it between your hands. If you can't make it, just take your foot in the hand and help a little bit and bend your right leg. Then now you turn your back foot so that it's parallel to the back of the mat. And we wheel the, the arts up into warrior two. Straighten your arms, look along your hand on your right hand, go more into your knee and the knee should be aligned with the ankle. It's really important. So our first warrior, just gonna put my hair back so I can see you better <laughs> and you can see me better. Breathe in and out. Come a little lower, breathe in. Breathe out. Now, listen carefully. Reverse warrior. You place your hand on your thighs and you stay like this on with your right foot and leg. You lift your right arm up and you bend over your left side. It's a nice side body stretch. Breathe in and out, in and out. Come back to warrior two and now wheel, like kind of like as if you're paddling with your arms, wheel them down to the mat and come back to Danda. Breathe in and out. Catch your breath, one more time, and let's go on to the other side. <clears throat> Take your left foot, place it between your hands, you can help your foot, put the weight on your left foot, turn your right foot out so it's parallel to the mat. Now bend your knee enough so that you can either come up just like this, or you can wheel your hands up into warrior two again. Make sure your knee is aligned with the ankle so it's like one line and that your knee is not tilting in, it has to tilt out. So you have to be able to see your big toe if you look along your knee. Alignment is really important and breathing. So rather than everything slow, but right. In, out, and look along your fingers. One more time. And out. Now, again, reverse warrior. Touch your right hand onto your thighs. 
Lift your left arm up and bend over, reverse warrior. And don't forget your knee still has to be bent and not tilting in. Now, let's wheel the hands back down. One more time, the push down. Rotate your elbows in, very close along your, your, your ribs, come down, cobra, arch your back, but keep your toes really like pressed toenails into the ground, and come up into child's pose. Sit on your heels. Also, if that's not comfortable, you can always Roll up a blanket and place it right here on your um, cuffs. Breathe in three times and three times out. One more time. Now place your hands next to your knees, push yourself up a little bit, take away the blanket, Un uh, tuck your toes and sit on your heels if you can. It's a real, real, real good stretch for the toes. If it feels too tough, lean forward a bit and take some weight off the toes and make sure that they're not bend in or anywhere, you can help them and place them where they feel good and where they should be. So either leaning forward a little bit or full on onto your heels. Sit like this for two breaths. You can also place your hands in front of your heart. Close your eyes and remember the intention you just had or smell on your patchouli oil. Now, let's come and sit on the floor. You may need your blanket again to sit on it, to be elevated a little bit. Straighten your legs. Staff pose. And now we will roll forward. So what I suggest you to do is bend your knees and fold your torso over your legs, but do it from the hips. If you can't do it much, take a pillow and place it right here. It helps you and let your head just hang and breathe in and out for four breaths. We'll do it without the pillow. If you're more advanced, you can also straighten your legs as much as you can. But it's not necessary. Just Keep them bent, especially for beginners. And let your head hang. Two, three, and another big deep breath. And roll up slowly. Take the blanket away. And now a little bit something for your, for your core. It's called boat pose. So you sit on your sits bones, you lift one leg, you lift the other leg, and either you can just hold it like this if it's already, if you're really already feeling it in your belly, or if you love a six pack, um, or 
You can even lift your arms alongside the legs. You can also straighten one leg and then the other. You can just hold behind your knees. Whatever feels good for you, don't overdo it right in the, in the first time. You can just do one hand and then the other hand. Breathe in and out. One more breath, we can do it. One more breath. Slowly put your feet back down and roll <clears throat> vertebra by vertebra down very slowly. Hold it with your core. Roll it down. And now we're doing a belly twist. So move your hips a tiny bit to your right side and make your uh, arms in like a T shape or a cactus shape. And now that just drop, bend your knees like they were before and just drop your knees to the left side and your face to the right side. Let gravity do its work. If it doesn't work like this for you at all, you can again grab a pillow and place it under your knees right here. In and out. We're here for four breaths. Three. And four. Now come back to the middle. Use your core. And let's do the other side. So lift your hips a little bit to your left. T, your arms in a T or in a cactus shape. Cactus! And now twist your legs towards your right and your face towards the left. Now you can see me. Hi! And keep breathing. Big breath into the belly. It's so good for, for all your internal organs right there. But not only for, for the spine. So good for so many things. So it works great with the cacao oil again, the detox. Twisting is always detoxing. You always can use that for sure. And come back to the middle. Now grab your legs, give yourself a squeeze. And now we do the final resting pose. You might need the pillow again. You place them under your knees or just lie straight on the ground. Let your feet flop open, your arms not too close to your torso, your shoulders down and back, your head loose. Maybe you go right and left with your head. If you need a blanket to cover yourself, take it now. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let it go. Another deep breath in. Close your eyes. And a deep breath out. Out of your mouth. Let it go. And one more. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Now, just lay here in stillness, relax each muscle in your body, scan through your body, start with your toes, your ankles, your knees, do they feel relaxed, are there any tension, muscles holding something, along your thighs, your hips, many times I realize, ooh, I want hip. It's totally tight, let's relax. Melt down into the ground, your belly, your chest, your shoulders, your arms get really heavy. 
your hands and your neck. Let go of all the tension you have. Now your facial muscles, let those relax, your eyes, your lips, even your tongue and your mouth, your throat. And just breathe naturally in and out. Let thoughts come and go. There are always thoughts coming. That's okay. But let them go. You'll be here for a couple of minutes. And we'll see you right back after Shavasana. Just relax. fingers and toes, a little movement back into your body, breathe in deep, and breathe out deep, reach your hands up over your head, do a little morning stretch, and cuddle to your favorite side. That use your, your arm as a pillow, bend your knees. Another two breaths here. Up to sitting. Still keep your eyes closed if you can. Sit in a comfortable position. Either take your pillow or your blanket and sit on it. Take your hands in front of your heart. Thank yourself for doing this practice. Thank yourself for helping your body be healthy, your mind happy. I thank you very, very much that you've joined me on the mat, bow down to your hands. Thank you very much. Namaste. From my heart to yours, have a wonderful day. And if you enjoyed this video, Please don't forget to subscribe and if you want, you can also leave me a comment what you would like to see next. Have a great one. Bye.